Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're gonna be doing a review on my Just Un Clue bracelet in the thin version from Cartier. I've had the bracelet for about five months now and I will link my unboxing right up here in case you guys wanna see that. Obviously I go over the packaging and the whole shebang, so probably a good video to watch before this one, but I figure I'd give you guys an update on how I feel about it after wearing it pretty much nonstop for the last five months. You guys know I even mentioned in that video that I plan on wearing this all the time, all day, every day, and I have been doing that. I have barely taken this off since I got it. So I wanna give you a review. So if you guys are interested in that, then please just keep on watching. But wait, you already know what I'm gonna say. If you're not already subscribed, explain yourself. I post on Wednesdays and on Sundays at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I feel like you're gonna wanna be here when I do. If you like luxury, you like handbags, you like fashion, you like Cartier, you like the Just and Cool bracelet, I feel like this is definitely where you're gonna wanna be, so you should subscribe if you're not already, and you should follow me over on Instagram if you're not already, it's just K Danger. I post every single day over there, every day is a real outfit of the day, some random shit on stories, we post a lot, we post a lot over there, so if you like any of that stuff, you should follow me over there if you're not already, and with all that out of the way, let's jump into the review. Before we jump into it, let me just say, excuse my hair, okay? It's still wet, and I really don't have the three to five business days it's gonna take to get dry, so we're just gonna have to we're just gonna have to live with it for today. I'm sorry. But let's jump into the bracelet. I'm actually going to take it off and put it on this wrist. Actually, that would make a lot more sense so that you can see it on its own. Thank God that didn't fall. I was really scared for a minute there. The way you would take it off is just by bending it like this. And yes, it is scary as hell. This does happen very often with my bracelets. They get stuck inside, and that is definitely a con, but we'll reach we'll get there we'll get there so now i'm just gonna put it on this wrist just so that you guys can see it like i said i always wear it on this wrist but just so you guys can see it mine is in the size 15 and this is in rose gold i don't know if you can really even tell that this is rose gold because even for me i feel like cartier's rose gold is like very yellow gold. I don't know if you can see that there's any pink in there whatsoever because I definitely can't see it. Before I put the bracelet on, I want to address the wear and tear. Like I said, I've been wearing it on stop for five months. I only took it off one day, like for not even for the whole day, for like a couple of hours because I was painting and I didn't want paint to get on it, obviously. But I have to say, I've barely done anything to this. Like I have not cleaned it. I have not anything. And there are like no scratches what like at all like visible scratches obviously there's gonna be scratches but looking at it even up close like this i can barely see anything and i think that the reason behind that is because this is obviously not like a flat surface like the love bracelet which i don't have but i do have love rings my love rings you can definitely see scratches very easily if you want a review on the love rings i'll link one that i did up here it also touches on the just and clue but because love rings and love bracelet are all a flat surface you're definitely going to be able to see scratches a lot easier on those than with something like this this is a little bit more of like a rounded surface this is really the only flat area that you have and it is true that you can see a little bit more can you just focus one time you can see a lot more on that flatter surface, but I honestly think most of that is dirt. Yeah, I kind of just wipe most of that away. So there you go, if that helped at all. Let me just show you how you put this on because I know that everybody is like freaking out about it and rightfully so, because honestly it's a little, it's a little crazy, okay? So what you're gonna do is just kind of bend it onto your wrist like that. Obviously it depends on how you wanna wear it. I think Cartier recommends that you wear it where the nail is facing inwards so like the way that it is here but i don't wear it like that because i wear it on this wrist so the nail this piece is always facing outward obviously i could flip it upside down so where the nail would be facing inward but i don't want to do that so i don't so here it is on the wrist you can probably see it a lot better there now the just include thin love bracelet does come in several variations you can obviously buy the one that i have which is just the plain one has no diamonds this one did when i bought it cost thirty four hundred dollars and then that was pre-tax so obviously whatever tax depending on where you live is going to be more than that i think it came out to like 37 something when i bought it now this retails for thirty six hundred dollars pre-tax so that's a 200 dollars difference and then depending on where you live obviously the tax is going to be it's going to bring it up to like 38 39 whatever depending on where you live okay who knows who knows what tax let's be honest like i said mine is in the rose gold version without the diamonds you can also buy the yellow gold without the diamonds you could buy rose or yellow gold with diamonds but you cannot buy white gold in the thin juice and clue apparently white gold is just not flexible enough to do that whole like putting it on mechanism so that's why they don't make it in the white gold but if you wanted white gold and you wanted a just and glue bracelet you could buy it you would just have to buy the regular size which is like eight thousand dollars 
without diamonds. With diamonds, I think it's like 11. As for sizing, my wrist is about 16 centimeters, so I do have my Van Cleef bracelets all in the size 17 because for these bracelets, I like a little bit looser of a fit so you can see there is a little bit of dangling there. But this is in a size 15 because they always recommend that you go a size down for your Jusun and Clue. For me, I think it's because you want this bracelet to sit like closest to your palm. So if it's like an actual size 16, it's gonna move around way too much and it's not gonna be sitting where you want it to be. Like I know when I wear this with the rest of my bracelets, it always pretty much stays right up here and then these just kind of do whatever they feel like doing so that's the look that i wanted so that's why i went for a size 15. now as for the usability like what is my experience actually using this every single day i know most people don't really wear just and clue bracelets every single day like the love bracelet is definitely marketed more as like an everyday bracelet obviously you can't you can't take it off. I understand why people don't wear this bracelet every day because it's annoying. I'm not gonna lie to you, it is definitely annoying. People always say that, oh, this is gonna get stuck on everything. And I heard that all the time before purchasing it, but because I have the Juice and Clue ring and it never really got stuck on anything, I was never really scared. I was never worried that that was gonna happen. But let me tell you, it's different. It is different and it does get stuck on. It gets stuck on everything this might just be specific to me because my hair is like curly and most of the time it's a little it's a little out of control like let's not lie let's not lie this is probably the most control it's been under is that english the most under control that it's been for a very long time but this bracelet gets stuck in my hair it gets stuck in my clothes it gets stuck in my blankets one time it got stuck in my nose ring my nose ring is on this side i it gets stuck in every single thing and i don't know if it's because i'm right-handed so i wear it on my right hand and i'm right-handed so i do like everything with my right hand so i don't know if it's because of that that it just it gets caught in absolutely everything and it drives me freaking insane and not only that it also like i already mentioned it also gets stuck on my actual bracelets so my alhambra bracelets the vintage size the mother of pearl and the black onyx i don't wear every day but i do wear this sweet six motif all the time every single day and it gets caught in here because it can just kind of sneak in you know this it's a flexible metal so it'll just bloop right in there and it just gets tangled and tangled and tangled all day every day and it drives me mad so if you're planning to wear any type of dangly bracelet with this bangle just know that that is 100 gonna happen i do think that that would be eliminated that one problem i think that would be eliminated if you had the bigger version of the Justin clue because nothing can really get in between this these pieces are like together on the bigger Justin clue but because this one you can kind of just whoop right in there it just it's a pain in the butt now besides that i will say that i barely feel it like on my wrist like yes i i notice it when it's caught in things so during those times i feel it but when it's just like sitting there and not doing anything i barely feel it i almost feel like i feel these bracelets a little bit more than this one because it barely moves it just really doesn't bother me at all so wearing it every single day besides the fact that it gets caught on things it's really not a problem. Also, I don't know if this is something that people were concerned about or not. I know with the ring, it is a concern, so I'll just address it. This nail head does not dig into my arm whatsoever. Like I said, I wear this 24 seven nonstop, never take it off, and there's never been a mark in my arm ever. It's never felt like it's digging in. My ring, that has been the case, it always feels like it's digging in, and there's always a mark on my, on my finger. You can see it already. I don't even know why I'm trying to it's there it's there but for the bracelet it's super duper comfortable it moves with ease it really is lightweight it's not heavy it doesn't weigh my arm down so let's just do a quick list of pros and cons about this bracelet just in case you want to keep like a tally in your mind okay cons i would say is price in my opinion i mean for cartier i guess it's not so expensive but for what you get in my opinion it is expensive so 3600 dollars for a very thin bracelet it's really not that much gold it's kind of a lot of money it's kind of a lot of money and again i understand like cartier's prices are definitely up there they're, they're usually a lot more than 3600 dollars but for me for such like a thin it's not very substantial this piece so i feel like because of that i feel like it's a little bit it's a, it's a con to me it's a con the fact that this gets caught on everything we're just gonna it's a con we talked about it already we're just gonna throw it on the cons list okay the fact that this doesn't come in white gold in my opinion also a con i think that's pretty much it for my list of cons so for the pro side i will say the fact that this is so easy to take on and off by yourself even though it is nerve-wracking every single time you do it and it's it hasn't gotten easier for me okay so if 
If you're wondering if it's gonna, like, no, no. Every time I do it, I'm stressed out. I would say that the fact that you can take it off and put it on so easily by yourself, very unlike the love bracelet, even the thin version of the love bracelet. I mean, you could do the thin version of the love bracelet by yourself, but it's not as easy as doing something like this in my opinion so i think that that's a pro i think um the aesthetic is a pro i think this is a beautiful bracelet probably one of the most beautiful bracelets i've ever seen and this whole like nail situation is just like it's just my favorite it's just my favorite thing that cartier makes that's definitely another pro i will say that the wear and tear on this is a huge pro because you can barely see anything i mean you can barely see a single like anything on this bracelet after five months of non-stop wear to me that's like that's a huge deal so absolutely like 100% that's a pro for me I think any stack of bracelets with this just sitting right at the tippity top is just absolutely stunning but I also think it looks so good by itself so if you wanted to start your stack out by buying this I think that's a great way to do it because it just looks so edgy and so cool on its own that it's like I don't need anything else but if you wanted to put other things you could so I think the versatility there is a pro and obviously the Cartier shopping experience most of the time I will say because not everybody has the same experience but most of the time I think the Cartier shopping experience is a pro so I think the pros list is definitely a little bit heavier than the cons list so with that being said do I like this bracelet would I recommend this bracelet the answer is hell yes I absolutely love it I know that it's annoying and it is annoying I think if I had known what this experience was gonna be like if I knew that after wearing it after five months this is what it was gonna look like this is what the experience would be like this is how I would feel I would definitely still go out and get it again. I mean, listen, in my opinion, nothing is perfect. There are plenty of things in my collection, like bags, shoes, jewelry, whatever, that I feel like are gorgeous, but kind of annoy me. Like, it annoys me that I can't wear my VCA bracelets all day, every day, because they're gonna mess up the stones. And that's annoying, but for me, it's still worth it, and I still obviously buy them. But for me, this was definitely worth it, and I feel like it just gives a little bit of edge, because otherwise, with just these bracelets, like, I'm just, like, a super girly girl, frilly, like, blah, but you put, <laughs> what that was, I don't know. <laughs> but when you put the Juste en Clue on, then there's a little bit of edge there. There's a little bit of interest in there. I'm going to take it off and put it on again, just for fun. God, it's stressing me out. I forgot to mention this. I have bumped into doors wearing this before, okay? I'm a very clumsy, I'm very clumsy. As just like a general person, I am extremely clumsy. So I have like been wearing this and bumped into a door and it has moved. So let me put it on and then I can show you like what I mean when I say it moved. Get on. See, it's going on. It's on its way, almost there. There it is. So it's been on my wrist and then I'll bump into something and then it'll shift like this. Okay, and now you see that there's a gap in the bracelet, right? I think you see that. I looked at it and immediately I could tell because this is not the way I wear my bracelet that it was wrong. So I just flipped it right back and you can see that there is no longer a gap in the bracelet. So you need to be careful with that because if you leave it on the other way for too long, I don't know for a fact, obviously, because I always fix mine right away. I'm like, ah! and I fix it immediately. But if you leave it the other way where there is a gap, I think that could damage your bracelet in the long term. And I think I've seen a few on the resale market that look like there's a little gap between the actual, like the nail head and the nail butt. So if I didn't immediately look at my wrist and notice that the bracelet was like the opposite way from the way that I always have it, then that would have been an issue. That would have just stayed like that and that would have been that and it would have been probably damaged forever so I really recommend that you just give just give your wrist a quick glance every now and then like I know that I like to wear it in this direction so I know if it's any other direction that it's wrong and I need to fix it <laughs> just keep an eye out for that because that definitely scared the shit out of me but yeah guys that is it for this review let me know in the comments what you think do you like the Justin Clue bracelet do you like the Justin Clue line in general maybe the Justin Clue ring Justin Clue necklace <laughs> It's just a cool necklace. It's freaking gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. But that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did like it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I post every single day over there. And that's all I have to say. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. I feel like there's just like shit all over my face. Like there's like gel on my face.